Christian Berger, head of the EU delegation to Turkey, joins me now live from Brussels. Thanks so much for speaking to us. I mean, these really are just, it's overused, this term now. These are unprecedented times. So some would argue, you know, it's hard to know exactly what the best response is. Tell us, though, why you would either defend or criticize EU policy in the face of this pandemic. First of all, good evening, and uh, the pleasure of being on your program and uh, to explain the, the the question that you've just asked. I think we have to understand that in a, in, a, in times of crisis, uh, the member states or the individual states, but not only, also the regions, the cities, and other entities are the first responders to a to a crisis. So many of them took very quickly action, action to protect the lives of people, action to protect the economy, and many other issues. But, uh, but also very quickly, the EU as, as a collective, the EU as the 27, the EU on different levels came in and took on a, not only a coordination role, but also a very operational role. Uh, I give you a couple of examples. Very early on, uh, we organized flights for uh, European citizens to come back to, to Europe if they wanted to come back. Very early on, uh, we organized also research into the, uh, into, into the crisis, into the, into the disease itself, finding a vaccine. So the European Centre for, 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 for Prevention and Control of Disease is working on, on that. This is just one example. And also very early on, uh, people had to think about how to deal with the economic impact of this crisis. Because uh, you, as, as, as in Turkey, also in the European Union, uh, in many countries, um, economic life uh, was interrupted or, or slowed down. So measures had to be devised by the European Union to help uh, the economies to, to remain uh, on their feet. One example, uh, again, where you talked about borders uh, early on, one example is how to make sure that goods can continue to flow across the border. So the Commission, European Commission uh, launched initiative of what is called Green Lane. So this allows organizations to, uh, this allows uh, trucks and other goods uh, uh, to cross the borders. And we have invited also neighboring countries uh, in, in, uh, in, 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 in the Western Balkans, but also in, in Turkey, to uh, join this initiative to make sure that the economy is not hampered. So uh, I simply wanted to say um, that it looked at the beginning as individual member states were taking their own measures, but I think this was, uh, this was right, uh, because member states are in, in, in the first line, are the first responders, have to take initiatives, and now okay. a coordination structure sets in. Right. So when a leader like, you know, Hungary's Viktor Orban says the EU is showing its lack of worth because Hungary needs EU help and they're not getting it. What can be said to that? EU, EU help is coming. One of the big problems that we're facing at the moment is to find uh, equipment, uh, protective equipment on the international market. So the European Union, together with the member states, has just launched uh, procurement uh, in, uh, of, of masks, of gloves, of ventilators, of all the other things that are needed to, 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 to deal with this crisis situation. So, of course, uh, Hungary, like any other member states, will take part in this procurement exercise and will, in the end, uh, get the purchases. And we are talking to companies at the moment, and we have offers from companies that go far beyond the need. So, in the end, uh, the union will play a, a strong role in making sure that member states uh, that need supplies will get supplies. Okay, Christian Berger joining us there from Brussels. Thank you for that.